For a traveller girl, the pressure to look good starts young. 24 hours from her first Holy Communion, nine-year-old Irish traveller Nan Girl is preparing to receive the Lord into her life for the first time at her salon of choice. Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh la la, rama, rama, rama. How important is it that you look good? Very, very important. Because there's going to be loads of people to do. And it's important for me to look good. Because I don't want to be like, oh my god, look at her. She's so ugly. What would make you look ugly? Ugly dress, ugly shoes, ugly hair, ugly makeup, ugly spray tan. Oh, patches all over you. Yeah. Like, it's important to look good when you make your commune. It's important to look good for God. God wants to see you looking good. Nan Girl will take her first Holy Communion alongside three cousins. The competition to look the best will be intense. Who do you think is going to look best? Me. <laughs> The first cousin to celebrate Holy Communion alongside Nan Girl is nine-year-old Margaret. So why is the First Communion so important to traveller girls? Oh, it's really, really, really big day. Because it's a really big day, a really, really exciting big day. It's really important to us. It's really important to us. Receiving Jesus Christ. Receiving Jesus Christ. And so why is it so important? Because we're a Catholic again, that's what we that's what we have to do. So what's gonna be your favourite bit of your communion on Sunday? And my dress. <laughs> receiving Jesus Christ. I am receiving Jesus Christ. <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! Margaret has decided to contrast her brilliant white dress with a subtle shade of brown. Your yeah, I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be like a princess. They're going to be like the sisters. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. <laughs> They seem, from a very young age, they like to look nice, they like to have nails, they like to have a tan, they like the hair doing, they just really look after themselves, really look after themselves. And it's not just like adults, it's like young girls, it's bizarre really. What are you looking at? Nan Girl and Margaret would share their communion day with their elder cousin Bridget. With the ceremony just 10 days away, she is trying on her bespoke dress for the first time. Ooh. I think everyone jealous you! Lovely. Do you like it, Bridget? Yeah, I really, really like it. Really, really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, shiny. Yeah, it's quite a short skirt. Would you be allowed to wear that in church? Why have we that one? Yeah. I always wear shorts on it, um, skirts like this. Shorts on it. Do you? Yeah. So you'd never wear a skirt this short without a pair of shorts underneath? No. Why is that? Um, because we have respect for ourselves. She is 12 year old, yeah, but she got to understand us travellers can wear short skirts. I mean, but as long as we have respect for ourselves, we have very, very high standards, high morals. Do you know what I mean? But shorts are needed. She always wears shorts that go and lift that there. I mean, you're only showing the leg. That's all she's showing in shorts. You know what I mean? It's not like she's going to half naked. I mean, it's only a short skirt, like short the front, long at the back. So you don't see it as provocative. What do you see it as? See it as she just. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Does that thought, that thought doesn't even enter your doesn't mind? Doesn't even enter my mind, no. Really, really, really don't. 
For centuries, beauty was the exclusive preserve of gypsy women. But the modern traveler man also feels the pressure to look good. Gussie is a 13-year-old Irish traveler who takes great pride in his appearance. Describe your style to me. Handsome, good-looking, cute, which is the most girls say is pretty much everything. What do you think? I've gone for ages, but just can't be asked. Are you quite successful with the ladies? I am, yeah. I have too many already. How many have you got? I have about, I have about a hundred and something all over the place. A hundred and something? Mm. Last, I really lost count. I can't really remember. On the morning of their first Holy Communion, Nan Girl and her cousins are sacrificing themselves at the altar of beauty. Nan Girl's dress did not arrive until 2.30 in the morning, putting the beautification process seriously behind schedule. So you stayed on to help yes. last night? Okay. It wasn't for us. Add more diamond for them or repair their dress. They need to be ready for today. Half an hour before the ceremony is due to begin, there is still much work to be done. 25 minutes. What time is it? 25 minutes to go. Keep your eyes still for me. No, I can't do it. Mummy! Mummy, I don't want a mummy! I'm begging of you, Eileen! Beautiful, darling. Beauty is pain. I'm meant to be at the church at 12 o'clock and my aunt rolled me, she's all stressed out. And then Nan girl is crying in her ear and making her even more stressed out. I'm not going! I'm not going! Having spent thousands of pounds on dresses and over 24 hours in preparation, the girls are still not ready. And the service begins without them. Though significantly late, the girls are in time to receive Jesus into their life. Just. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. So let us go in peace. We've well never done. had so much glamour in the place, have we, girls? Hey? Yeah, the priest gave me his body of Christ. I got, I got Jesus in my mouth. Have a lovely day, girls. God bless you. You look wonderful, eh? What do you think about the dresses they choose to take their communion in? That's them. Uh, and we accept that. Uh, you know, they, 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 they love to express themselves in this way. What they're attempting to do, as I see it, is try to bring out that specialness, you know, so that people look at that and say, hey, you know, that's, that's special. Like it or not, it's special. All right, and this to all the girls out there, if you're ever in Coventry, 
Don't be shy to ask me, chat, chat to me or anything. And if you want to ask me out or anything, feel free. I'm a sly fee. Alright, that'll be it. Thank you. You talk over me, talk over. The competition to look the most beautiful is as fierce as predicted. Are you happy? I'm very happy. I feel like that I'm the prettiest I'm well because people want to go, oh, I want to take your picture, you're so nice. I want to take your picture, cheek, cheek. I want to take your picture, cheek, cheek. And I feel like that I'm the loveliest I'm well. And I feel like I'm Cinderella. You're in my way, you're blocking me spotlight. Hey, I'm not doing <laughs> Get me in a two, don't get one. All right, girls, so you will look beautiful, but you look the best. Me! Actually, me. No, actually, me. No, actually, me. 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 Look at me. you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. The debate remains unresolved. But having changed into their second glamorous outfit of the day, the girls are ready to do battle on the dance floor instead. <laughs> Like, no, it's like, then it's like, ah! Go, Jamie! Get back, stop! Wait! 